Hey guys, it's Lifestyle Mama, and I am outside. Outside, so, uh, yeah, with my quarantine do and my natural look. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Not different than what you're used to seeing here, but I wanted to take this opportunity to come outside and show you what I've been doing with my time since we're all in the house. Shout out to the essential workers that have to go to work. You are the true heroes. And my daughters are two of them that go to work throughout this whole thing. So shout out to you. But I digress. I am outside because I wanted to take you through my journey of gardening. Yes, I have started a garden somewhat. Uh, as you can see behind me, I am really committed because I actually have a green house. So, I'm going to take you around and show you what I've done and take you on this gardening journey. I like to call this the Reluctant Gardener series. <laughs> Stay tuned. So this is my green house. I actually got this from Lidl. And didn't cost that much, cost about 60 bucks, but as you can see, it's pretty big. And I can actually step into it. Look at that. Got to bend over a little bit, but once you get inside, you see it's pretty tall. So I just decorate the top with some wind chimes. And just let me take you on a tour now. So let's see. All right. So moving on. This. You know how you see on the tasty videos how to regrow stuff from the stuff you buy at the store? Well, this was a green onion that I decided to uh, first put it in some water and then I put it in the dirt. So there is some new growth. I don't know how much it'll yield, but I'll give it a try. And then down on this shelf, I have some kale. And you see I have some kale down here too. Now kale, the plan is again, once these start growing and they take root and they get kind of big to move them because again, these will take over and they really need a lot of room to grow. I also started some seeds in these little greenhouse containers. If you follow me on my IG stories, you've seen these. So I have the lettuce, spring mix over here and my jalapenos over here these seed containers again real cheap got them for four for like six dollars and you see there's a lot of moisture in there so i simply put seeds in each one of those things and look what we got here and literally this has been a week actually six days because i think i got these on sunday and you see my seed has already started isn't that amazing and keep in mind, I do not have a green thumb. I'm going to check out the spring mix too. Same kind of thing. And as you can see, look at that. Look at that. Again, these are seeds. It's only been since Sunday. Six days. And I've done nothing but water them and keep them in here. Gotta love it. So, what you see here is sage and this is actually sage that I got from the grocery store in those packs and I only needed to use a little bit but as you can see the stalk is very strong and I have some little buds coming out down there so I was real happy with that also have some new growth up here so I'm happy about that and then the next two started from seeds so we have our green onion and I will tell you that it took about maybe a week for it to grow. It's been kind of unusually cold here. In fact, today is probably the first day that it's going to be kind of hot. So these started springing up and they are looking gorgeous. And the next I have to it is some okra. I've never grown okra before. I don't even know what it's supposed to look like. But as you can see, we have a lot of leaves here, a lot of growth. Happy about that. And then these three containers are all zucchini. 
So again, started these with seeds, and they all started popping up like a week and a week and a half after I did the seeds. And I did them a little deep. Husband said I should have done that deep. But the plan is, because when I was growing up, my parents had a garden, and I know zucchini, if it takes, it will take off. And it's one of those easy things to grow. So the idea is that eventually I will take these out and plant them outside and let them finish So growing. we move to the floor of the greenhouse. And yes, we have a lot of stuff in here. This is the tomato plant. Bought these as seedlings. They've kind of taken root. And I can't wait to see if it yields any tomatoes. This is a blueberry plant. Now the blueberry plant, I'm going to tell you the truth. I do not know. What I'm doing with this plant, I do know that it is growing here. I don't see any real growth anywhere else. You blueberry experts, if you got any tips, let me know. And down here, we have some cayenne pepper and some collard green seedlings. And again, plan is once they get kind of active, and what I'll actually probably do is move them once the kale gets moved, I'll probably move these hot peppers to that container. And then we have some bulbs. These are supposed to be flowering azaleas. They ain't done much yet. I don't know if they're going to, but I have faith in them. <laughs> and then over here, we have our cucumbers. And again, these took about two weeks to start sprouting. Sprouted them from seeds. And again, the plan is to move these out once they get nice and strong. So over here is my herb garden. So I try to make sure that I always have some herbs, some fresh herbs, because I like herbs. So down here, I have my mint. Again, the mint, the parsley. There's the parsley. This is flat leaf parsley. And some thyme. Time's really growing, really doing well. Um, and then we have our rosemary. And all of those came from the grocery store. So these will stay in these pots because this will probably not grow a lot. It doesn't need a lot of root system, but it'll spread. You see the mint is just cascading down. So I love it and it smells so good. And then I have two more seedling containers. This is basil because quite frankly I bought that basil and I think that it has some type of disease so I keep picking off the brown ones but I'm not sure if that one's gonna survive and we use a lot of basil in my house so here's some basil they haven't really started to sprout yet but that's okay and then our last seedling tray is some more hot peppers we might make some fresh hot sauce this summer so that about does it oh I'm sorry I forgot to show you the strawberries now the strawberries had me kind of worried oh my little tag is going down the strawberries had me a little worried because I had this little leaf here and I don't really see any movement so I don't know kind of stressing but so that's the tour of the greenhouse so now um, I guess I'll give you some kind of starter tips uh, again I'm not an expert at all I just kind of got the bug and kind of threw this together um, one thing I will tell you is when you get your plants you see these labels keep them <laughs> because a lot of these plants when they start especially if you're growing from seeds they kind of look similar also what's good is on the back they kind of give you the instructions so I know this is kind of backwards but on the back like for the collards it says it matures in 55 to 90 days so at least you aren't expecting something to happen overnight so it's going to take at least three months for this these plants the collards and the kale to actually mature which is good because they are a cold loving plant and so they'll mature and it's going to get hot because it's going to be summertime so it'll be good 
for these not to mature till it starts to get colder again and it also says care it tells you it prefers well-drained soil and cool temperatures and it tells you it needs full sun so if you ever wonder hey I really don't know how to grow this just look at the back of your tags when you buy your actual plants they also have the same kind of instructions and information on the back of your seed packets now I will tell you that um, for the cucumbers and the zucchini I really paid attention to oh bury them a certain amount down in the soil and blah 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 for the other seeds that I put in the seedling containers these little plastic containers right here I just sprinkled them in and, and I put dirt a layer of dirt in almost to the top I just randomly sprinkled the seeds and then I put a good uh, covering of dirt on them and speaking of dirt what kind of dirt should you use so I know that for more experienced gardeners they tell you the acidity levels and the pH levels and all that stuff I, I didn't do any of that <laughs> I got a bag of organic um, mineral, uh, mineral, miracle grow um, that has the nutrients and food in them. Um, I do water the plants regularly, and what I've started doing is taking my eggshells, and for the leftover dirt, I actually am putting eggshells in the dirt and using that as compost because the eggshells give the dirt protein. And then I understand if you use coffee grounds, not if you put them directly on the plant, but if you use used coffee grounds, you put that also in your dirt, then that adds nitrogen to the dirt. So you're putting some organic compounds into pre-existing dirt so that when I go to plant my collars and my kale in my beds, once they get too big for the planters, I have a rich soil that I can build on. So that's really important the soil is very very important um, the most important thing is just do it just like I did um, this is a, a journey I'm taking for several reasons one because I just have to get this creative outlet out <laughs> and I really wanted to plant something that I could actually eat um, again I always plant herbs but I've never really planted vegetables and so I'm really looking forward to the harvesting my own vegetables I can come right outside get my own stuff and I know what it's been treated with and um, so that's it so I hope to give you an update every week I'll show you the progress and I'll give you as many tips as I can for someone who knows very little and we'll be learning along the way we'll make mistakes along the way and hopefully so that's it for this first show and um, check in next week and we'll hopefully see some more progress this is lifestyle mama thank you for joining me if you enjoy this video please like give me a thumbs up and as always I ask you to subscribe it don't cost you nothing and it helps me out thanks again bye